Hello and welcome to Space Engineers. In this episode, to save us having to do several trips when mining, we're going to build a small mining ship. Welder, grinder, might as well just set one, two, three up because I can, those are things I use, three things I use everywhere. So I like to set up my one, two, and three with the welder grinder and the drill and the rest of it can be whatever thing I'm working on at the time. So in this case, that would be the ship. So I need a gear. I need a, I need a block. Actually, that's the other thing I like to put in the fourth slot is a, is a block because that's another thing that I use pretty much everywhere. Then a gear. I'm gonna need ion thrusters. Okay, so I'll go for the ion thrusters. I am going to need a medium cargo container. And I'm going to put I'm gonna need conveyor tubes actually. Are there small conveyor Gear tubes? Yep, small conveyor tubes. Uh need batteries hmm. I am going to set up an ejector system to get rid of any unwanted stone and of course I need a drill hmm. okay uh, drill and we'll set up the rest later so Start with a gear, and we want a small one. Oops, and rotate it round. Oh. Okay. There. I'm gonna need some large steel tube, which reminds me what I should do is I should set something up here so that hmm, because I want to oh I should just set up a connector here which I am going to need to park this ship. Now, where would I set up that connector? Because once I set that up, I can then just pick up any parts I want from that. Okay, inventory full. Okay, so I'm just drop some of this stuff off. I'll just take, yeah, 50. So I have some to work with. Okay, this is, hopefully it'll just be temporary so that um, otherwise it's just pretty ugly and also, well, yeah, we don't know about meteor storms, but um, if we get attacked, then any ship left out here could get caught in the crossfire or could be a target. So. We ideally don't want to leave things out there like that. But for the time being, as a temporary solution, it could work. So I need a conveyor belt, conveyor tube even, which I am going to pop. Oh, crap. There isn't enough space. Because if I run this tube over through here, oh, I could run it around. That is what I'm going to do. If I run this tube across here, then I can't fit an upgrade module. And there is space here because the upgrade module would go there. So I can just 
use this so I just have to pipe it around it'll take up more space but it will keep this whole part of the base pretty compact okay so like so and oops Okay, so we want this to turn up. All right. Okay, so this can only go up. I can't bring it around here and through. So what that means? Ah. Uh, what the? Okay. Oops. Why won't you? Uh, there we go. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna need to make some small steel tubes and a motor. Probably more motors. Yeah, small steel tubes and motors. Production. I'm already out of iron. That means that uh, I mean I could actually yeah oops that's not what I meant uh, what I want to do Let's move this over there and I might take that might actually disassemble some of this so we get some iron back from which we can make because there's a whole bunch of steel plates up in the other ship just trapped in that cargo container so I can use that for any for any steel plate needs and I can just use this iron for making the other components that we need right now okay so uh, it would be so pick that up pick that up and disassemble all okay so Let's just finish building this. Oh, small steel tube. Didn't realize I needed construction components. I think there might be some up in the other ship. Small steel tube. go that's built that's built okay so I think it's this not that one this one there we go and uh, conveyor tube oh man I need a clear plate I'm going through there. So, interior plate and construction components. Interior plate. And I'll just check if I have construction components up here. Hopefully I do. I don't. Okay. That means that I could make some. Or I could go mine some. But let's see about making some just now okay so let's make 50 there we go
Hey, oh wait, it's something like that. Made this mistake before. Make sure you have it on assembling, because I was disassembling all those steel plates and I left it there. And trying to add things to the production queue doesn't work, so make sure you're in assembling. And then add it in there. 50 of those. I'll pick them up just now. Assembler. And just build. Finish building this. Wait, did it say that I didn't have internal plate? Interior plate? I do have interior plate. tube and I also need a connector so character tools let me just set this up again one two three and I need a connector perfect Six. Oh, wait I need to drill uh, need to weld this up otherwise I won't be able to weld it after I pop the connector on. So I need, uh, I need small steel tubes and construction components. I might need to make more. Because I don't think I have any in there. Oh, construction components, absolutely. So small steel tubes. Okay, and our connector on top needs to plate, which is fine. Use them up from there as much as possible. Okay. Perfect. And what that means is at me. Come on. Once I complete that, I'll run out of steel plates. Okay, I don't want life support system imminent failure. So now that we have built this thing, it doesn't have. What we can do is go in there and go into production, build anything we need, and we don't have to jaunt all the way down to the base. Actually, this also means that I could transfer these steel plates across, but I won't do that right now. This completed. Need large steel chips. See, watch. So I can just go in there. Production. Large steel chips. Where is it? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, why can't I? See? Oh, there it is. So ten large steel tubes. Go back in here. Assembler. Uh, pick. Right up. Okay. okay, and then I can continue to build this. So, what we're going to need, what we're going to do here is we'll start with the main reason why we're building this which is the cargo container so pop that on top come on uh, pop that on top 
have it face that way. There we go. And then we'll pop on a drill right on top of it. So that's the main components that we need. And of course, one thing that I forgot about is a cockpit. Which goes on there. Perfect. I need, so this is, I'm not going to make this into a very complicated or very large ship. I'm just going to make it the absolute bare minimum needed for this to function. So we've got our battery there and we're going to need some thrusters. So now I'm not sure how many thrusters we would need. So, but let's go with two, two each. So, I just realized one flaw. I like to keep my drilling ships entirely horizontal so I could just drill right through. In this case, if I drill right through, the the cockpit would hit the, the roof of the hole that we're drilling. And we could just keep going up and down, create a bigger space, but that just means that you, we could end up picking up a bunch of rock, stone. But for now, let's not worry about it. I'm just going to go with a absolutely minimal design. So two there, two here. I need two facing the front. One there, and I'll put the other one here. along with two facing up, one, two, and so I might move one of these to the other side for the, purely for the sake of symmetry, six, there we go, and two facing left and right. Uh, so. One, two, and underneath, but I might do that after I lift this thing up. So let me just go ahead and weld this, which will take a little bit of time and a few trips back and forth, and I'll come back. I just realized that I can't put the battery here because that's the only place the connector can go because you need a large cargo port, which is only here. So I'll need to move the battery elsewhere, which also means that I'm going to have to dismantle all of these things. Okay, what I should do is pop the connector on there first, there we go, and then I can put the battery there, there we go, that looks okay. I now need to put those thrusters back, so we've got down uh, front, up, down, and front, I think. Well, up, down, and back. Up, down, and, yeah. Okay, so I need to have my, 
the thrusters. Have those and these, so I'll have one and two. I need left and right, which I will pop here. Left. I'll, I'll pop this over a block just for symmetry. Oops, not what I want. Six. That won't work because this is going to just blow that out. But that's okay, I can pop that in the middle. There we go. And here as well. Okay. So let's see left and right. Front and back, up and down. Six. Done. Okay, let me weld the rest of this up. And there is something else I forgot. Gyroscopes. Gyroscopes. So, there we go. One on this side. And the one on the side. No reason, just for some symmetry. I'll need some large steel tube. Gyroscope online. Okay, let's get in. Unpark. Plenty enough power. Now, there was thrusters that I want to put down at the bottom, didn't I? So that's up, front, left and right. Oh, I didn't complete this thruster. Always forgetting something. Oh, I didn't complete this one either. So I need two thruster components. Okay. Wonder if this many thrusters are going to be enough. Fine. Seems okay. Now the question is, can I fit in that space? I cannot. Hmm. So I'll need to move that connector along a bit. Just switch this off so I'm not wasting power. And it's just because I can't move this ship because it's not got any power. Okay. So what I will do, I might just grind this part of the ship down, might as well. Pop all of these things in there. Let me grind, clear this part of the ship out, I'll come back. Ok, 
here. Will that be enough? Maybe. Let's see. Y to switch on the power. P to, to take off the parking. Let's go along. Okay, this is certainly tricky. Uh, now I want to go backwards. Now I want to go down. So I can see a little bit clearer. There we go. Perfect. Okay, not the easiest job parking it, but it works. Don't need this anymore. Perfect. I should actually make it a vertical connector. That would make it easier to park. Okay, I will actually do that. Uh, P. Uh, contest disabled. When I'm at full throttle, almost an hour of power, that'll do. Uh, let me just, just redo this connector so that it is easier to park this thing. Hey, oh shit. Inventory, inventory, full. <sighs> Oh, right, these were the Inventory things actually full. inside the connector. I forgot to pick them up. There's a lesson. Make sure you take everything out of the connector before you uh, dismantle Inventory it. Full. Inventory full. Oh, man, this is irritating. Seven. I'm just going to pop all this stuff in here just so I can pick all of them up hopefully in one go. Some small steel tubes fell down there. It's going to be difficult to get to. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, so I need this, 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 and this. Oh, I'll take as many steel plates as I can as well. So, carved conveyor tube. Get that built. And then we can have a connector on top of it. And hopefully we can get that done. Flooding some steel plates. Which are like a hop, skip, and a jump away. There we go. Steel plates. Oops. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as they say. Okay, now here we go. Okay, pop this in here. Just move this out of the way. So the connector doesn't get clogged up. 
not that it gets clogged up, but so I don't dismantle it again and have everything flying out. Okay, so let's now go mine some iron. I know what else I need on this. Uh, I need some lights. Because certainly when, especially when mining the nickel, it's very dark in there. Another question is, where do I put it? Light. It's too light. Oh wait, it's looking the wrong way. what we need. Beautiful. Now we can see everything. Now the, this doesn't really have enough thrusters. It is a bit draggy in the way it responds. Oh, you know what I should mine first? Yeah, I do. I should mine some uranium. So what I should do also, oof, which one is the weapon? Weapons and tools drill. Okay, so that's one neat trick. Make sure you use the weapon drill and then you can just use left click and right click to control it. Okay, so let's mine some uranium. Wow, it's a lot of shake. Oh, we're quite far away. It's difficult to see the distance here. Okay, I can see the reflection. There we go. from the cabin. Uh, how do I see? Hmm. I drill. Hmm, got some stone. That's okay. Four point nine six K that's not a lot. With this kind of a setup it makes sense to start with the top of where you're mining from and mine downwards. Just because we are sitting on the top of it, so that even if you go in a bit, you're not going to run into the roof of whatever we've mined out of. We could actually speed this up by plugging in another couple of miners onto this. Let's see how fast it is. 15k. That'll be enough uranium for now. That's half load. Yeah, it's still responsive. We can cope with this. Yeah, yeah, we can. This is fine. Oh, wait a minute. Oh yeah, there's both there, that's fine. Okay, so how about some iron? Uh, 
Okay, let's go right into it. Go down a bit and wait for the iron. We don't want to pick up any rock. That's almost full. So, okay. okay, that's a bit more sluggish, but it's fine. Oops, I'm definitely cope with this sluggishness. There we go. Our base is somewhere over there. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Just gonna go and park this carefully. Oh my. I'm almost out of oxygen. But I'll be able to make it. This is easy part. reverse into this Oops, I came too far back We pop and get ourselves some oxygen, some tasty, tasty oxygen. So we can stay alive. There we go. And refill our bottles. There we go. And check out what our refinery is doing. Nothing, apparently. Iron. Hey, wait a minute. Why hasn't that been transferred? That Oh my word, I just realized maybe the back of the drill doesn't have a connection to the cargo container. Well, that's not great. That's not great at all. And this drill is kind of sideways, sideways, which means that what I need to do run a mini conveyor tube to there or to here, which would be less effort.
have to do with that. So Interior plates. Okay, I'm going to need to make some interior plates. load that was in the drill so I picked up a lot more there we go that's the refinery starting up so it should have picked the stuff up there we go it did looking good it's getting transferred through ugly as sin that's why I normally have this the other way around, and then I pipe the stuff in. Hmm, not great. But now that all the stuff is out of here, what I can do is take this apart. Take that apart. Oops. Yeah, I don't want to redesign this whole thing. But what I can do is there's a cheaty way of fixing this. Oh, that just has that. It has a mini port at the back. Hmm. Okay. It's not really a proper fix, but I wanted to add another drill onto this anyway. So what I can do is this. They're both the same. No, they're not, are they? This needs to be one more back. Four. There we go. Since they've got these ports on either side, you can daisy chain these. Although you don't need to daisy chain them, you can leave a space in between them and they still work because they're the way these drills work is that they drill one space to the left and well all the way around it. So you can actually leave one space in between each one. And you know what? I will leave one space in between each one, which means that I need a conveyor. Thing of me. There and there. Weld that up. Weld that up. And we'll pop the other drill on here. Like so. Get that welded, and we can pop one more on here, why is that not working, steel plate, which is fine, I can pick some up from here, steel plate, and even some large steel tubes as well actually. Uh,
those, some of those. Just over here. And the neat little trick being that I can do this. Pop this on there, there, there. Okay, it's not pretty. Sure ain't pretty, but it works. And purely for the sake of symmetry, let us do this. Oh wait, I need to weld that first. I won't get access to it again. And then, there we go. We'll call that the end of this episode. And for the next episode, we'll test this upgraded mining ship out. And maybe build a grinding ship to break down that big old ship. Thank you for watching and see you next time.